The last thing we want to talk about comparing is uh, strings. And so strings are kind of unique, again, because they're not a, a what we call primitive Java data type. They're uh, a little world in and of themselves. They're, they're their own little program that has methods, and and they've, it's been built to act like a, a variable, but it works a little bit differently. Again, we know just from the fact that we capitalize a string to begin with. So I'm going to create a string called um, uh, word. That's the name of the variable, and uh, the text that will go in it is uh, word. <laughs> Classic rap style word. So that's the word that we're looking at. So we can make a comparison, and we can say uh, if the word variable, but again, we don't want to use the equals equals to compare. Normally, this is the temptation is to do it this way, because that's how we do it with um, numbers and and uh, booleans and, and that type of thing. We use the equals equals to compare, but we don't want to use that for strings. For strings, we have a method that's built into the string, so we say instead of equals equals, we say dot equals. And then in parentheses, we pass to the equals method for the string uh, type Let's see, I've just said all sorts of crazy things that, <laughs> I mean, they're, they're correct. I hope they're correct. But, but I've just used a bunch of terminology that doesn't make any sense. And I don't want to do that yet. Later on, we'll use the terminology that doesn't make any sense. Again, the string is a class, just like a scanner. So we build a scanner. We say scanner in equals new scanner system, whoops, system in. And then we say, uh, in dot next line. The in refers to the class, so in this case we've built a scanner and that's the in, and we're saying go out to in and read in the next line. This is the name of the method, right? Well, the string is similar. The string has a bunch of methods that are attached to it, and so I've given the string a name, and one of those methods is the equals method, where it will go out and check to see, is the contents of this variable the same as whatever it is I'm putting in these parentheses to compare? So I'm saying, go out to the word and call the equals method, and then I'm going to tell you what I'm curious if it's equal to. I want to know if this, the contents of this variable is equal to this string literal. And so um, I'll say system.println, and again, I'll just say yes if they are equal. Okay, so if what's in there is equal to this string literal, then let's print yes. Okay. And that is the case. But let's, print, let's put something different in here. Let's say uh, to your mother. Okay, word to your mother. Is that the same? I should, I'm, I'm just making things more confusing. So we have one string here that's, that says word, and we have another string here that says to your mother, and we are saying, are these two things equal? And if we compile and run this, then we shouldn't get anything printed out. And in fact, again, it might be good to put an else on there so we can actually see the result that it's taking the other path, right? It can either go this path or it can go this path with an else. If it's not one, it's going to be the other. So I'll say system.out.println no. And then if I do this, then I'll see that it's no. This, the, the contents of this variable, which is word, are not equal to your mother, okay? All right, so what about, let's try this. What if I say word with a lowercase? So I'm saying if the word, <laughs> uh, see, it, it's just too late. I'm four minutes and 43 seconds in. I'm not going back, right? All right, well, so the word here, <laughs> let, let's, let's change this to be a, a, a text. Maybe this will make it easier. I've got too many words in there. So I'm saying if the text here 
which holds the word word is equal to this text which holds this word word. Now they're just two different the only difference is the capital letter at the beginning, right? If I run this, it's going to take a no because no is or sorry, word is not equal to word. They're two different words because again, Java is case sensitive and it's saying those things aren't the same. All right, so what do I do? Well, luckily, besides the equals method, we also have an equals ignore case method. And if we look at the equals ignore case, then now it'll say yes because we've just told Java to ignore the case and check to see if the contents of this string literal and this variable are equal, and they are, and so it prints the word yes. All right. We can also uh, use our not when we're comparing strings by saying if it's <laughs> okay. So let me let me change this back to words so there's no confusion. And in fact, I'll go back to just equals. So so again, if we do run this, that's a true because this variable holds word which is equal to this word. Okay, they're the same thing. But if I put a not in front of it, what I'm saying is if it's not the situation that those two things are equal. Okay, well they are equal and, and so because of that it's going to print the no. Again, this is the tongue twister for the mind because we've thrown a no in there. But what we're saying is it's not the situation that they are equal. If it's not the situation that they are equal, well, they are equal. And so it's not not the situation that they're equal. <laughs> All right. The, the nots really do kind of confuse, but it's just like it's like saying... I am having a good day versus I am not having a good day. When we put the not in there, it reverses the meaning. And because it was true before I put the not in there, then that means it's going to be a false now. And because what comes out of the result of this is a false, this statement will not be executed. Instead, we'll jump down to the else and execute whatever that is because this scenario is not true. It is false. It is false that the word in the text is not equal to the word because they are equal. All right? <laughs> All right, well, that's a little uh, logic there, but that's how we compare strings. We use the dot equals method with strings. We use the equals equals for anything else that we want to compare, and then we also have access to the equals ignore case if we want to do that, and that's, uh, again, comparison for the, the string. Spencer... <laughs> confuse myself and out.